All right, what's going on with Scorpios? Yikes. Damn. Okay, Scorpio. You're heartbroken. You're sad. And you're trying to get yourself unstuck from a situation. Okay, your finances are going to be increasing too, Scorpio. We got eight eights all over. Scorpio. It's going to be back and forth communication here about you being heartbroken and you trying to get yourself unstuck from a situation. It's going to be some kind of back and forth communication about your finances increasing. But you are feeling stuck. There's a temporary delay. You're trying to get a new perspective on this. So you're going to start taking action. And going for what it is that you want. Can we go with an Aries? A Pisces. Somebody's failing to end a painful addiction. Or something that's very painful towards them. And this is breaking your heart. And you're trying to get yourself unstuck from this. You are ready, Scorpio. You have all the resources and the materials that you need to manifest whatever it is that you want. Because this is breaking your heart. And I see you trying to get yourself unstuck from this. And there's going to be some behind and back and forth communication about this because you're very stuck. There's a temporary delay here and you're going to start taking action. Because somebody's failing to end a painful cycle here. And you're manifesting whatever it is that you need here. You're gonna, you're starting to feel confident. You're starting to feel attractive. But you don't have enough information here. And you're doubting yourself. Okay. Scorpio, you're attractive. You're feeling confident. Just take action without fear. You feel like you, you don't have enough information. This is making you feel stuck. You're doubting yourself. You're trying to be kind and understanding about this. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Leo, an Aquarius, another Virgo. But you're trying to be very kind and very understanding about this. You're focusing on yourself. You're taking care of everything around the house. Could be dealing with another Virgo also. Could be two Virgos. Yeah, because you're giving up on a situation here. You give one up because somebody's not willing to step out of their comfort zone here. And secrets came out about this. And you're not keeping this to yourself anymore. Because you don't have enough information. And it's leaving you doubting yourself here. Somebody's making plans to get together and not showing up. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, a Leo, and an Aries. And this person is leaving you doubting yourself. See, so you're walking away. And you're trying to be very kind about it. Okay, but now is not to make now is not the time to make a move in a relationship right now. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could just be walking away from a Capricorn too. You're walking away from this obsession. But you're obsessed. Your ego's getting in the way, but you're not paying attention. You're not listening to your intuition. This person lacks self-control here. And this person's non-committal. 
So you're walking away because there's like this is toxic. When the Capricorn is upright, they're toxic. Their ego gets in the way, their addictions get in the way, their sexual obsession gets in the way. I mean, it's just too toxic. This is somebody from your past. There could be issues regarding children. I mean, I do see you walking away, though. Because secrets came out. You're not keeping this to yourself. You aren't paying attention. This person's not willing to step out of their comfort zone. There's too much gossip. Your emotional and material needs are not being met. And I see you making plans to sign some kind of new partnerships or contracts or partner up with some new people here from a, that are at a distance from you because this person could be being distant towards you and you've come into your own power now and you're wasting your time with this person so you're walking away and this person's too toxic this is somebody you have a family with this could be a family member it could be a Virgo or Capricorn Somebody you've known since childhood. Somebody in your family. Yeah, you have your guard up. You don't trust this person. And you don't want to miss out on this opportunity here because your emotional and material needs are not being met. Yeah, you don't trust this person. This is somebody in your family. Yeah, so you just made a bad investment. And you worried about your investments. You're not going to invest into this anymore because you have unfinished business and you don't trust this person and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. So you're making a decision to focus on your family and yourself. So you're exhausted. You're taking a break. Some of you are making a decision to go on a family vacation because you don't trust somebody. Some of you are making a decision just to take a break. Some of you just are exhausted and need to rest because you don't trust this person. <clears throat> but you're making a decision here to reach out here for an opportunity. Somebody's going to be reaching out here for an opportunity on business. Uh, it could be on camera. It could be some kind of offer made online. Because somebody got caught lying, cheating, and stealing. Could be seeing the number 778822. Yeah, and you're irritated with some of your relatives here. You're wasting your time. It's too one sided. This is putting you in debt. So I see you collaborating with some people here because you've come into your own power. There's going to be new partnerships or contracts for you to sign and you're going to be discussing business ideas with some people because you have some unfinished business. You could be getting recognition for high quality work here, being a team player. Yeah, things are about to turn into your favor. Luck is on your side. You're going to be collaborating or discussing business ideas because somebody wasn't being honest. And this is a wise choice. There is no ulterior motives here when you collaborate with these people because there is no, like if there was ulterior motives, it would be upright, but it's reverse. So these people that you're collaborating with, they don't have ulterior motives and things are about to turn into your favor. Because playing mind games is an unwise choice. And that was causing some kind of arguments here and putting you in debt. Ooh, there's going to be a happy outcome. So we're dealing with the Leo, Capricorn, a Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, and a Taurus, Sagittarius. 
Yeah, you're trying to balance out your emotions here. This is going to happen on a sunny day. There's going to be a happy outcome. But you have one foot in and one foot out of a situation. You're testing out the waters here. But you're collaborating here because somebody got caught lying, cheating, or stealing. And you want to stop stressing out about this. Because it was an unwise choice. And this is happening in divine timing. That was just a false start. Yeah, and you were feeling left out in the cold. You felt abandoned. You had some kind of uncertain self-employment, but that's about to change. We got two fives. Again. Long major changes. Yeah. There's a lot. You could be dealing with a mother, a Libra, a Taurus, but you could be collaborating. You could be traveling towards somebody's home here and coming into union with this person, discussing some kind of business ideas or plans. Because that was just a false start in the past. And you had some kind of uncertain self-employment. You felt left out in the cold. But you're coming into this union here with this empress. Are you traveling towards this person's home here? Coming into union, releasing this burdens because somebody wasn't willing to help you out. Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Libra, a Taurus. Yeah, and this is going to be a life-changing experience for you. Because somebody wasn't willing to help you out. And this is... Probably going to cause an unexpected bill. So you're going to have to balance out your emotions when you travel towards this person's home. Could be an unexpected bill concerning some kind of car, uh, partnership, contract, or intimate relationship here. Could be an unexpected bill because somebody's not willing to help you out and you're trying to release this burden. So there was an unexpected bill because you feel left out in the cold. You were left out in the cold. Because you were left out in the cold as an unexpected bill. And the shit show has been revealed and you're trying to balance out your emotions concerning this intimate relationship, this contract here. Yeah. So you're getting some kind of spiritual teaching or mentoring here by somebody within your like-minded friends or tribe. Because this person didn't have the same values as you and wasn't willing to put the work in here. Somebody was being sloppy about this. And you feel like you're being treated unfairly. Justice will not be served because this person is not willing to put the work in here. And they don't have the same values. And, they're lo and you're losing faith in this contract here because this person, because lies are going to come out. Lies will be exposed. This person's overindulging in food, drink, or alcohol here, and they're not willing to put the work in here. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. This is somebody that's part of your spiritual tribe and like-minded friends, and you feel like you're being treated unfairly because justice is not being served. Because this person's overindulging in food, drink, or alcohol. They're not being, they're not helpful. They're not helping out. So you're getting some kind of mentoring here. And you feel attacked. Because this person's not willing to put in the work concerning this contract. And you want to stop stressing out about this because things are starting to turn into your favor. And this person's playing mind games. And you're irritated with some of your relatives because there's unfinished business and you're wasting your time. So you're walking away, but you're doubting yourself here. So you're making a decision because there's too many arguments. That it's not time, it's time, it's not, not a good time to make a move in a relationship here because there's problems with children. This is something that happened in your past. And you want to stop stressing out about this. There's going to be news of a sudden breakup, a sudden divorce here, but there's going to be a happy outcome. So you're making a decision here that it's not too much work. And there's going to be some kind of truthful communication. About somebody spending too much money and you're not holding back about this. So there's an offer that's being made. There's going to be an inflow of abundance here. And this is something you've been waiting for. Because somebody's been spending too much money. 
And there's going to be cheerful communication about this. There will be a happy outcome. There's going to be an apology made. And this is going to cause some kind of anxiety or confusion here. And this is causing conflict here. Don't trust this person with your heart when they apologize to you because they will break it. And this is causing anxiety, confusion, and conflict here because there's a relationship that's growing closer between you and someone else. This is somebody you've collaborated or done business with. And somebody's not willing to put in the work here and it's causing conflict. So there's a delay in taking a trip. Things are not moving forward because this is causing conflict. Somebody's going to be getting an invitation to some kind of social event here and trying to complete a project in their home environment here. Because the situation has come to an end. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Scorpio. And you have the Midas touch right now. You could be dealing with a um, Taurus. But a situation has come to an end here. You have the Midas touch. And things are not moving forward here. See, you're sad and depressed about the situation. There's either delay in taking a trip or you're sad because these things are not moving forward. So you're focused on your financial stability and there's going to be a new leap of faith that's going to be taken because you're sad and depressed over this and you're trying to heal. Looks like somebody's going to take a new leap of faith here with some kind of star, an Aquarius, an Aries, a, uh, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, and a Taurus and you're going to get counseled on a situation here concerning the star about taking a new leap of faith and this is going to make you very happy because somebody's not willing to make the changes that they need to make and this is pissing you off they're acting recklessly with their spending habits or an addiction and this is causing you to have a lack of abundance and this is really pissing you off because this person is not willing to make the changes that they need to make. So you're getting counseled concerning this star because you're sad and depressed about this. And you're getting some kind of mentoring. Because this shit show has been revealed and you feel left out in the cold and you could be having some kind of uncertain self-employment because this was just a false start. And you feel attacked now. So you're trying to balance out your emotions with this Leo. And this Sagittarius, this Cancer, this Libra, this Aries, and this Scorpio. Good luck, Scorpio.